Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to Fort Laramie High School for the second game of the MLK Classic between the Fort Laramie Redskins and the Yellow Springs Bulldogs. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Tom Von Sausen and our entire WOSN crew. And, Tom, what a, what a classic we've got here and a great matchup here between Fort Laramie and Yellow Springs. Now, Yellow Springs has a record of 4-8 and eight and 0-5 and in the Metro Buckeye Conference, but if you look at their schedule, they've won four of their last five games. Well, that's certainly a, a turnaround, so heading in the right direction. You know, Coach, it gives the kids a lot of confidence when they start to have success like that. Of course, Fort Laramie's having an outstanding season. They're the host of this event, and... Uh, yeah, it should be a lot of fun. It's been uh, good basketball so far with, with more to come. We look at Fort Laramie. Tom, they come in at 9-3 and three overall and 3-3 three and three in the Shelby County League. All three of their losses have been in the Shelby County League, and that just shows you how tough that league is. It is, and, you know, it's uh, usually uh, uh, lower scoring, just bruising battles when you play in the likes of Jackson Center and Yusha, and it's just... Uh, it's it's hard nosed to the nail fight for everything you can get type of game. So you know that Fort Laramie's got a toughness about them just from playing teams that like they do in their league. And we'll see if Yellow Springs, you know, has that same toughness and mental toughness to hang in this game. Let's take a look at our starting lineups for this evening's game. For the Yellow Springs Bulldogs, they'll start number zero, Ethan Niemeyer, a 6'1 senior at 2.1 a game. Number one, Antonio Chayton, a 5'10 junior at 4.5 a game. Number 10, Josh Clark, is a 6'0 senior at 7.7 a game. Jason Niemeyer is a 6'1 senior at 3.8 a game. And Sam Miller is a 6'0 junior at 4.3 a game. They average offensively 42.3 a game, and defensively they give up 49.5. For the homestanding Fort Laramie Redskins, they'll start number 11, Caleb Mauer, excuse me, number yeah, number 11, Caleb Mauer, the senior, 6'1", averages 17 a game. Number 21, Alex, or excuse me, number 23, Ryan Holscher, 6'3", senior, 7 points a game. Number 30, Ethan Kaiser, a 5'11", senior, at 9.4 a game. Number 35, Logan Eilerman, a 6'4", senior, at 6 points a game. And rounding out the starting five, number 50, Austin Plyman, is a 6'5", senior, at 4.6 a game. The Redskins come in at 9 and 3. Averaging 50.2 a game. Defensively, they only give up 40 a game. And five seniors, so an experienced team, certainly. Uh, a veteran team. Certainly know how to handle themselves on their home floor. That helps as well. So They're looking to get back in the win column as they lost Friday night to Bodkins, 47-40 in a big rivalry game. And as we talked earlier, three losses in the Shelby County yeah. League, and it's just a brutal schedule. Yeah, I mentioned a couple teams. Didn't mention Bodkins, of course, just... Uh, two seasons away from being a state champion. So. Absolutely. Yellow Springs will control the tempo here. Our scoreboard tonight is presented by Reese Hearing & Company, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. Reese Hearing & Company is our scoreboard sponsor. Here come the Bulldogs as they'll go left to right. This is number one, Antonio Chayton. He's got the ball up top. He'll swing it around to the right side. This is Sam Miller with the drive. Okay. They're going to say Miller charged. And a nice job by Caleb Mauer to get in position to take the charge. Yeah, I really like, I'm hearing basketball. Great talk. He's, you can hear the Fort Laramie players talking to each other. Not the coaches, it's the players. And when you can get that, particularly on the defensive end, that's always a plus. Uh, Corey Britton does a great job with his squad down here year in and year out. And they're going to play the fundamentals, and they're going to play them right. I can promise you that. This is the Redskins. This is number 30 for the Redskins. Ethan Kaiser, swing the ball to the right side. Back over to Maurer. Maurer, the leading scorer on the team at 17 a game. They'll go inside. Ball goes in, number 50 for the Skins. Austin Plyman, the 6'5 senior, gives the Skins the 2-0 lead. Yeah, great high-low look. And Plyman catching it right by the rim. Nothing the defender could do. Here come the Bulldogs trying to get even. This is number 10, Josh Clark with the ball up top. He'll swing it to Chayton. Chayton goes to the middle of the floor. He's cut off in the middle. They'll try the right side. Swing it back to number 10, Josh Clark. He goes inside. This is Ethan Niemeyer. Ball goes off the back iron. Rebound comes down to the skins. They'll run the floor on the left side. Three ball on the way, and it's good. Okay. Logan Eilerman, the 6'4 senior, knocks in the triple, and he gives the Skins the 5-0 lead on the re-smearing scoreboard. Big guy stepping out. Yellow Springs didn't close, and he knocks it down. 
6-11 to go. Danny Herbert, Tom Von Sossen from Fort Laramie High School, the MLK Classic. We've got the home team in this game taking on the Yellow Springs Bulldogs. There's a nice dribble drive. They go to the middle. Ball goes up, and it goes in. Number 24, Sam Miller, Sam Miller the six-foot junior, gives the Bulldogs two, and it's 5-2 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. There's a dribble drive on the left side. Ball goes out. Rebound comes down to the Bulldogs. They'll bring it down the floor. And Yellow Springs really undersized in comparison to Fort Laramie, so defensive rebounds could be an issue, able to get that one. Yellow Springs is coached by Nick Trimbaugh. They are in the Metro Buckeye Conference. As they missed that shot. Here comes the skins down the middle of the floor. This is Caleb Maurer with the ball. Goes back inside to Plyman. Plyman with the turnaround, and he's going to be fouled on the shot. He'll go to the line for two. Again, taking advantage of that size advantage. Good look from Maurer that time. Finding his big guy down in the block. Nothing they could do except foul to send him in the line. Fort Laramie offensively averages 50 a game, and they only give up 40 a game. From the floor, they shoot 45%. A three-point line is 41%, which is quality shooting, but you look at their free throw percentage, and it's only at 63%. You see that one rim in and out. 41% yeah, from three, is that, that's, that's impressive. That's but, really impressive. Yeah, you, you want to be a little better from the line, certainly. You, know, you can get 70 and above in high school. That's pretty good, but they're, of course, not there. Lyman misses the first one. He knocks in the second one, gives the Skins the 6-2 lead. Plyman will take a seat. He's got two on the afternoon. Another senior. So, again, experienced team are the Redskins. Number 12, De De number 32, Darren Eilerman checks in for the Skins. There's a nice little drive on the left side. The ball goes up and off the back iron. Rebound comes down. Skins will take it. Go back inside. Shot goes up. Off the iron. Shot was missed by number 33, Aiden Warman. Excuse me, number 35, I'm sorry, Logan Eilerman missed that shot. There's another steal. 4.43 to go, Skins lead 6-2. I'll go back to Maurer on the right side. Maurer yet to score as he averages 17 a game. There's a nice dribble drive on the right side. As he's bumped on the shot, he'll go to the line for two. Help defender late coming over is almost a hip check in Eilerman as he tried to get to the rim. And as you said, leading score for the Redskins goes to the line is First attempt to get on the scoreboard tonight. Caleb Maurer, the 6'1 senior, averages 17 a game. He is the leader of this team. As he knocks in the first one. Makes it 7-2 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. And speaking of lack of size here, the Yellow Springs Bulldogs bringing some in. Checking into the game for Yellow Springs is number 40, Sean Van Hoos, the 6'7 senior. And he is a wide body, so you look to maybe get the ball down to him on the post. Sean checks in at the 425 mark here in this first quarter. Shot goes up, and it's defended. Caleb Maurer, and it's stolen back, and a nice job. And he misses that shot. Number 24, that was Sam Miller as he stole the ball from Caleb Miller. Misses the shot. Yeah, just stripped Maurer after he had gotten the defensive rebound and missed the point-blank shot. And then it got some contact. I think they're going to call that on the floor. It'll be Yellow Springs ball underneath. Well, you look at some of the challenges Yellow Springs has had this year, and offensively at 42 a game, they're really limited on what they can do offensively. And with a team like Fort Lormie that holds you to 40 a game, this is a big challenge for Yellow Springs. This is Chayton with the ball out top. Shot goes up, and that's from two. Oh, no, they're going to say it's a three. Looked like his foot was on the line, but they're going to say that was a two. Yeah, no replay. So uh, they're gonna, I think they're going to talk that one over, maybe. See what they say. Oh, they got, oh, we got a timeout. So we got a timeout on the floor with 3.57 to go. Lormy leads 8-5. Back here at Fort Lorman High School with 3.57 to go. And Antonio Chayton, the 5'10 junior for Yellow Springs, knocks in the three. And well, it was awful close to a two, but they give him credit for a three. And he cuts the lead to eight to five. And Yellow Springs with a quick timeout after that uh, made three. And see if they'll change something up defensively. Or coach just wanted to reinforce something he saw on the floor. This is number 33, Aiden Werman for the Skins as he'll bring the ball down. He's guarded by Sam Miller out top. They'll swing it over to 
Ethan Kaiser. Kaiser goes to the middle. 3.40 to go. Back inside from the left side. Ball goes off the iron. Goes out of bounds, and they'll say it goes back to Fort Loramie. And Darren Eilerman that time, good job. Faked the screen, slipped it to the rim all alone, but just put the banker up too hard. Fort Loramie is going to get another chance, though. So. There you see Austin Ply or Austin, excuse me, Austin Plyman is in the game, and he is being guarded by Sean Van Hoos. And both of those guys, 6'6 six, six, <laughs> and 6'7, six, that's a lot of human beings. Yeah, they're going to be leaning on each other. Nice inbounds play that time. Yellow Springs had to foul. Going to send uh, Aaron, uh, Adam Aiden Weirman to the line for two. So Weirman will go to the line. He knocks in the first. So Aiden Weirman, he's got one on the afternoon. Excuse me, he's got two on the afternoon. Makes it 9-5 on the Reese Marion scoreboard. Checking into the game for Yellow Springs, number three, Liam McLean, the 5'9 senior. We've already saw in the first quarter more substitutions yeah. than we saw the entire game last time. <laughs> You're right. So 10-5 on the Reese Marion scoreboard. This is Josh Clark with the ball up top. He's guarded by Ryan Holscher. Holscher, the 6'3 senior. The ball goes back up to Sean Van Hoos as he had trouble corralling that one. Three ball from the right side, and it's good. Two in a row Jason the Niemeyer, the 6'1 senior, knocks in the triple, and he closes the gap at 10-8 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. This is Maurer from the left side. Three ball, and it's good. Caleb Maurer, the 6'1 senior, knocks in the triple, and he makes it 13-8 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. I saw when he shot those free throws previous. Nice, simple, clean, uh, good looking for him on that shot. There's a steal out top. Skins will get a steal. They'll get the ball in the hands of number 23, Ryan Holscher. He'll go to Caleb Maurer, and they'll go back inside to Plyman, and Plyman knocks it in, and he's fouled. Austin Plyman with great position as he got Sean Van Hoos on his backside and turns to the right side and knocks it in. Yeah, good position off the miss that time, and a nice look from Maurer. Knew, knew that his teammate had position in the post, no so hesitation. Team, Caught the pass goals. coming up the floor and went right to the low post. The Austin Plyman will go to the line for one. And Lorme leads 15-8 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. And he knocks in the free throw. Austin's got five on the afternoon. 16-8 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Here comes Yellow Springs. This is Antonio Chayton. He goes back to Jason Niemeyer. Niemeyer swings it over to Clark. Clark goes to the baseline, and he gets pushed out of bounds, and they're going to get a foul. Let's see who they're going to foul. He's trying to get the number. I think 23, <laughs> I think, is going to get the foul. I think you're right. 32 is who they're saying, right? Oh, 23, you're right. <laughs> 23. <laughs> the official was trying to look through bodies. To, he knew the guy, what the guy looked like, just yeah. couldn't see his number. Remember the old days when you used to have to hold your hand up? <laughs> I'm dating myself there. <laughs> There's a steal by Fort Loramie. Here comes Weirman with the ball. They try to go back inside to Eilerman, but the ball goes out of bounds and go back to Yellow Springs. So just a little bit of uh, hurrying there by the yeah. Fort Loramie Reds. You like the aggressiveness, like the ability to want to get it up down the floor, but not really much room to get that pass in. Would have been better off to set up the offense. This is Niemeyer up top. He'll go back to Van Hoos. This is Chayton up top. Tries to dribble drive. He's guarded by Caleb Maurer. 147 to go. Lorne leads 16 to 8. This is Chayton guarded by Maurer up top. They'll swing it over to Niemeyer. Niemeyer with a three, and he knocks it in. Jason Niemeyer. He knocks in the three. He's got six on the afternoon, and Lorne leads 16 to 11 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Last nine points for Yellow Springs coming by the three ball. Lorne a little late closing out. They're making them pay. Here comes the Redskins. So go left to right. Yellow Springs continues to stay in that man. Van Hoos doesn't come up and guard his man as he stays in the paint. And Caleb Maurer makes him pay with a three ball. And he makes it 19 to 11. Yeah, you, you're going to come up and show when you got a shooter getting a ball screen like that. Maurer just one little dribble, squared up, knocked it down. So we're under a minute here in the first quarter. Four Warren leads 19 to 11. 
This is Niemeyer. He had the three on the last possession. Nice pass on the back door drive by Josh Clark, but he can't handle it. A little bit too hot there, and it'll go back to Fort Lauren with 44 seconds to go. He was open just right through his hands, maybe thinking about finishing before he completed the catch. The free WSN Scores app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more schools, more sports, and more scores than WSN. Search WSN in the App Store and Android Play Store. So here come the skins up 19 to 11. There's a jumper from the right side that goes off the iron. It was a three ball corralled by the skins. This is Caleb Maurer from the left side, and he knocks another triple in. Caleb Maurer's got 11 in the first quarter, and he extends the lead to 22 to 11. Just effort that time. Logan Eilerman went and got that rebound. Looked like it was going right to the Yellow Springs player, and results a three-pointer. There's a three ball in and out. Comes down to the skins. Here comes Mowers. He gets across half court. Takes about a three quarter shot off the mark. And that's how the first quarter ends. After one quarter, Lormie leads 22 to 11. You're watching high school basketball from the MLK Classic in Fort Lormie. We're back for the second quarter action here at the MLK Classic at Fort Laramie High School as the Laramie Redskins lead the Yellow Springs Bulldogs 22 to 11. And Tom, it seems to me that Yellow Springs being a little lackadaisical on closing out and Fort Laramie's making them pay for it by the three ball. They are, and you, especially Caleb Maurer, you better find him. He doesn't need a lot of space to start with. And uh, you mentioned Laramie averaging 50 a game coming in. They're almost halfway there after <laughs> You're one right. period. So a lot, you know, some turnovers from Yellow Spring. Yellow Springs have shot the ball well themselves. They have. You're but, right. Uh, a couple, you know, a few turnovers and and not getting back, like you said, defensively and getting matched up. So Carter Gasson is in the game now for Fort Lormie, number 45, the six foot sophomore. It's the first underclassman to hit the <laughs> right. floor for the Redskins. Right. All those seniors taking up that time. Austin Plyman with the ball up top as he'll sneak down to the low post, guarded by Van Hoos. Shot goes up from three land, off the mark. Rebound comes down, and nice hustle there by Logan Eilerman. Three ball on the right side, and it's good! Ethan Kaiser, the 5'11 senior, at 9.4 a game. He's got three on the afternoon. He gives Lorman the 25-11 lead. And again, maybe an opportunity to grab a rebound. They don't do it. They just bat it, does Yellow Springs, and Lorman makes them pay. This is Sam Miller with the dribble drive, and the ball goes off the hands. Corralled by number 30 for the Skins, Ethan Kaiser. He gets it over to Caleb Maurer. Maurer looks inside the Plyman, left-handed, and it rolls off the rim. But it is corralled again. Let's see who the ball is going to go to. Back to Yellow Springs. Yellow Springs is just having a real difficult time getting a clean defensive rebound. Plyman is really having his way with Van Hoos on position down low as he's yeah. getting the ball. He's certainly beating him to the spot, you're right. This is Van Hoos with the ball up top, guarded by Plyman. Swings it over to number 24, Sam Miller. Sam Miller dribble drives to the foul line, and he's going to be fouled up top by Carter Gasson. Just a second on the Redskins, or third on the Redskins as the team. Yellow Springs with four. So checking back in the game, Aiden Wehrman for the Skins, and uh, Sean Van Hoos will take a seat for Yellow Springs. They've got some size on Yellow Springs' team. We talked about that. Chip Alini at 6'9", and Van Hoos at 6'7", but all we've seen right now is Van Hoos in the game. This is Chayton up top, guarded by Caleb Maurer. Swing it back out to Niemeyer. This is Chayton. He goes to the left side. Back over to Miller. Go inside. And that's number 31, J.P. Anderson, the six-foot senior. Kind of an ill-advised shot as he was off balance and tries to throw it up from the right side. Three ball from the left side, and it's good. Ethan Kaiser knocks it in for his second three, and Yellow Springs is going to take a timeout with 5.58 to go. Lormy leads 28-11. We'll be back after these messages.
back here at Fort Laramie High School with 5.58 to go. Laramie is up their lead to 28-11, and Tom Ethan Kaiser with back-to-back -back threes. He's knocking them in from everywhere. Yeah, they are shooting the three ball very well. Of course, we know Maurer can, but two in a row from Kaiser, and you know, some of those are coming on second chances. Some of them just not getting matched up are Yellow Springs, and you know, it's, you know, they're threatening to blow them out now, up 17 early here in this second period. Well, you see why Fort Lormie is so explosive, and they won seven of their first eight games this year. And like I said, with those three losses in the Shelby County League, this is a team that come March is going to be really, really a tough out. And I think so. And good balance, is, you know, good size to go along with guard play. So a lot of the ingredients you need for a good team. So 5.58 to go. Danny Holbrook, Tom Von Sossen from the MLK Classic here in Fort Lormie High School. Fort Lormie taking on Yellow Springs here in game number four. Nice job by Caleb Maurer of extending, getting that lead hand out there to block that off, and it goes out of bounds. Coach Britton telling his kids, continue playing that tough D as they lead 28 to 11. Ball goes off, went back to Josh Clark, and he's going to be fouled. Foul Looks like they got number 30, Ethan Kaiser, on the foul. His That's his first. Teach forward. It, right now, Tom, it just like, looks like Yellow Springs doesn't have an identity on offense. They're not trying to pound the post. They do look at the three ball when they get a chance, but uh, not running a whole lot of sets to get their shooters open. No, it's just kind of one-on-one -on -one individual. Some guy try to make a play. If he can't, yeah. kicks it to somebody else, tries to make a play, and barely throw it away, trying to backdoor cut another turnover. And you know, Again, Fort Lomi really threatening to grab a hold of this game. There you see the turnover. Here comes Maurer. Maurer leads all scores with 11. He averages 17. He's well on his way to that. Or Lormy, there's a screen up top. As they go back to Plyman at the high post. Plyman cuts down. They get it to him on the block. He's guarded by three Bulldogs. And they're going to say there's a foul on that yeah. play. This was going to say reaching in and getting a piece of the arm before the tie up. Yellow Springs. Coach Trimbach, I don't think, agreeing with that. Plyman does a great job of face cutting his defender, and there's a nice little alley oop. <laughs> Caleb Maurer, as they throw the ball to the middle, Maurer goes up and knocks in the little J. Makes it 30 to 11 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Yeah, 6 1 Maurer standing in the middle there. Maybe not expecting a lob to him, but showing good jumping ability and able to catch in the air and finish. Yellow Springs with the ball down low. They'll throw away. No, they, I thought they threw it away, but they corral it back. That was number 31. J.P. Anderson gets his own mistake there. They'll swing it back out to Chayton. Chayton loses the handle on the ball. He'll take a three from the top of the key. All of the, goes in and out. Rebound comes down to number 35, Logan Eilerman. Chayton with the block there as number 30. Ethan Kaiser tries to take it up. Chayton blocked and he'll bring it down. He'll go up and they're there. gonna say block and Chayton's gonna go to the line for an old fashioned three point play. Nice, nice move, step to the side. Definitely I think see the defender for Fort Laramie sliding with him, not in an established position and the hoop and the harm. There's Plyman entering back in the game alongside Ryan Holscher and number 34, Maxwell Maurer for the Skins, a sophomore Maurer. That's 6 1. And Chayton converts the three point play to make it 30 14 with 4 12 to go on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. This is the sophomore Maurer. He'll take over the point guard duties. He'll swing it over. Ryan Holscher will swing it back to Maurer. Maurer dribble drives to the foul line, gets it down low. There's Nice job by Austin yeah, Plyman. He just uses his strength there, Tom, as he muscles the ball in. Yeah, it looked like the defender had put his hand right on top of the ball, and Plyman just, as you said, powered right through that. 3.39 to go. Lormy leads 32-14. Ball goes out of bounds, and terrific defense by Fort Lormy as they've got it all working right now. Carter Gasson with the play there. Fort Lormie does a good job getting out in passing lanes. They don't just allow you to throw it anywhere you want around the perimeter. They're out in the lane trying to deny that. Three ball from the right side, off the mark. 
That was number 30 for the Skins, Ethan Kaiser. Fouls on number 45, Carter Gasson. That's his second. So the leading scorer for the Skins, Caleb Mauer, checks back into the game. I'll also bring in Aiden Mormon, five, or the, excuse me, the 6'1 senior. Thirty-two fourteen on the recent marrying scoreboard. Danny Holbrook, Tom Von Sassen from Fort Lauderdale High School. Game four of the NLK Classic. There you see the dribble drive by Yellow Springs as it goes nowhere. They get it out on the outlet on the left side and a great drive there by Ryan Holscher. The 6'3 senior goes up from the left side and he gives the Skins the 34-14 lead. Three ball on the way from the right side. Off the mark, that was Josh Clark. As he hits the back iron. Rebound comes down to Yellow Springs. They'll kick it back out to Clark. This is Sam Miller with the ball as he goes on the left side. Rebound comes down. Skins will corral it. As they go the length of the floor, get it out to Maurer on the left side, and he misses it. But Plyman's there for the rebound. And he misses that shot. So a little bit of helter-skelter play there by both squads. Throwing the long pass on me there. It looked like they might get ahead of the Well Springs. Did a nice job of getting back. I don't. <laughs> hey, that's the through. Wow. Anderson. Very nice step through by J.P. Anderson. I'm not sure that wasn't a travel, but they didn't call it. So, and there's Mauer on the dribble drive on the right side. He's going to be fouled. Oh, just line. lost it. Are they coming oh, way up? No foul. End of the game. Max Mauer, sophomore end of the game. So here you see Fort Laramie is going eight deep, so a nine deep, really. They've played nine kids on the floor already, so going into their bench for a little bit of help here with 1.57 to go. This is Niemeyer, swings it over. Three ball on the way by Josh Clark. It goes off the mark, and it'll go back to Fort Laramie. Yellow Springs coach is a little bit perturbed. Nick Trimbaugh <laughs> telling his kids they need to move on defense. Yeah, get to the offensive glass. Yeah. Just watching the shot. Get in there. 136 to play. Skins lead 34-16. Ball knocked out of bounds by Antonio Chayton as he gets the ball on the offensive drive by Fort Loramie. Mauer inbounds the ball. This is Aiden Wehrman out top. Goes over to Mauer on the left side. Back to Mauer, or excuse me, back to number 11, Caleb Mauer. He knocks it in. Mauer. Caleb Mauer's got 15 to lead all scorers, and Lorme leads 36-16. We've seen a lot of three ball from Caleb Mauer that time. Passed the three up, and nice little two dribble pull up. It's great to see kids who are, who are knocking down the three ball every once in a while take that step forward and go towards the rim. I really like that. It really brings another dimension to their game yeah. if they can put the ball on the floor. The more tools you have, the more difficult you are to defend. Absolutely. You know, defenses could take one thing away a lot of times, but you do multiple things, it's more difficult. Yellow Springs with another attempt there as they get their own rebound. They'll go back inside to Niemeyer. Three ball on the way outside, and that's Sam Miller with the three ball. Miller's got five on the afternoon, and he closes the gap at 36-19 with 30 seconds to play in the That's first half. The best part of, of Yellow Springs offense has been knocking down open threes when they do get them. Timeout. Timeout on the floor. Fort Lauderdale is going to take a timeout with 26 seconds to go. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. When we come back, we'll have the conclusion of the first half here on WOSN. Welcome back to Fort Laramie High School with 26 seconds to go here in the first half. It's all Fort Laramie, and they lead the Yellow Springs Bulldogs 36-19, and just kind of a lackadaisical effort from Yellow Springs, Tom. Yeah, they're not really getting down on the defensive end, taking anything away. Fort Laramie, you know, running their offenses, getting about any look they wanted. And 27 seconds left. Coach Britton has all of his timeouts at his disposal, decided to spend one and set up the final shot here. So Caleb Maurer will take the ball up top. Decent chance he'll be the one taking it. <laughs> Not a bad choice. Yeah. 
Little Springs comes out in the zone look, trying to throw Louis, or Fort Laramie off a little. We're at seven seconds. Oh, he traveled. Oh, he traveled. The ball goes back to Yellow Springs, so they'll get the last shot of the half. Extended that zone and put a little pressure up top and maybe surprise the Redskins a little. So here comes Yellow Springs. They'll get the ball into Niemeyer. Niemeyer goes to the half court with three seconds, or excuse me, with two seconds. Stolen away by Loramie, and nobody gets a shot. So after one half of basketball here at Fort Loramie, the Redskins lead 36-19. You're watching High School Basketball on WSN. And welcome back to Fort Laramie High School for the second half of today's battle here at the MLK Classic between the homestanding Fort Laramie Redskins and the Yellow Springs Bulldogs. Danny Hilbert, Tom Bond, Sasson bringing you all the action. And Tom, we pretty much saw Fort Laramie do what they wanted. They got the shots they wanted, and defensively they really smothered Yellow Springs on the perimeter. Yeah, of course, a lot of turnovers making it difficult to make that next pass. Yellow Springs actually has shot it well from three, but outside of that, not a lot going for them. They've turned it over too much, and as you mentioned, not really taking anything away from the Redskins on the offensive end. They've had a good combination for Lormy of getting it inside, getting some points, getting to the foul line around the bucket, but also then kicking out for open threes. Caleb Maurer and uh, um, the other young gentleman, number 30, <laughs> knocking a couple down. Ethan Kaiser. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Caleb Maurer has 15 to lead all scores on the afternoon. He's got... An average of 17, so he's well on his way to get that. Antonio Chayton is leading Yellow Springs with six on the afternoon. He and number 11, Jason Niemeyer, both have six. So Josh Clark knocks in the three ball, so a good start there for Yellow Springs coming out of the timeout with a three ball. And they're going to stay in a zone look instead of the man-to-man -man we saw most of the first half. And there's Kaiser. <laughs> Kaiser with the answer. Ethan Kaiser knocks in the three ball. He's got nine on the night. And that gives it the 39-22 lead on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. He loves those corners. I think all yes, three have come from those areas. I think you're right. Our scoreboard sponsor is presented by Reese Mearing and Company, helping small businesses navigate their financial future. There's another three ball on the way up, and it just goes off the rim. Rebound comes down to number 35, Logan Eilerman, the 6'4 senior, grabs it and gets it out. Here comes Maurer with the ball down the middle. He'll go to the rim and easily lays it in. Caleb, Caleb Maurer. And he almost steals the ball there, Tom. He did. A little lackadaisical inbounding. And that time Yellow Springs trying to pressure the rebounder, not getting back defensively. Maurer got to the rim. That was a near steal by Fort Lormie. Shot goes up from Miller on the outside, on the right side. And Yellow Springs is going to take a timeout right off the bat here with 6.36 to go. We'll be back right after these messages. Back here at Yellow, or excuse me, back here at Fort Laramie High School. Got my schools mixed up here. Fort Laramie playing Yellow Springs with 6.36 to go here in the third quarter. Laramie leads 41-24. Ormy brings the ball down the floor. This is Aiden Werman, the 6'1 senior. Brings it out top. Tries to go inside. They get the ball down low to Logan Eilerman, the 6'4 senior. He is a space eater down low, and he gets fouled on the play. He'll go to the line and shoot two. Now, we all springs in a zone. And, uh, you, you know, in the zone, you hope to have 10 eyes on the ball and to throw that pass from well out front right to the block uncontested. Uh, that should not happen. It's got to be more awareness by the Bulldogs. Eilerman misses the first one there. Well, when you've got Austin Plyman and Logan Eilerman on the floor at the same time, which they don't have right now, that's a lot of space between those. Those are two really big, strong young men. Yep, not shoving them around on a little block, and we've seen that in the game. Makes the second one, makes it 42-24. He's in the 18-point lead here. This is Chayton with the ball as he dribble drives to the middle and just throws it up. Goes off the board. Rebound comes down to the skins. This is Maurer on the right side as he finds a dashing Logan Eilerman going to the rim and a really nice give and go there. Eilerman scores. He's got six on the afternoon to give 44-24. Yeah, good find, but credit Eilerman running the floor. Big fella getting down there and finishing. When I coached, I always told my bigs, if you run the floor, we'll find you. There you go. And if we don't, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's... Uh, as they say, a lot of stuff's not rocket science. Run from one end hard to the other. You'd be surprised how many times I'd get you a layup. 
5.45 to go. Danny Hilbert, Tom Von Sossen from Fort Laramie High School. Game four of the MLK Classic. Fantastic afternoon of terrific basketball and seeing some of the best players in Northwest Ohio and the state of Ohio, for that matter of fact. Yellow Springs with the ball here, trying to find something, make something happen on the offensive end, but they are just being guarded tightly by Fort Loramie. And there's another steal by Loramie. Here comes Caleb Maurer. And he almost dunked it in. Can we give him a dunk on that one, Tom? <laughs> Half a dunk. Just kind of laid it over, but that Maurer got some good hops. He not sure did. 6-1, but he gets off the four well. Not what I expected at all from Caleb Maurer. He's got 19 on the night to lead all scorers. And if he come down, there'll be a foul on 21. That's Alex Berger, the 6'2 junior, gets the foul. Jason Niemeyer at the line. 6'1 senior, averages 2.1 a game. Knocks that one in. Makes it 46-25. Gives him seven, so well above his average. Carter Gasson back in the game. This is Maurer on the right side. Back to man-to-man, -to -man, getting out of that zone they started the half with. A little dribble drive on the right side. Guarded heavily by the four of the five Yellow Springs defenders, and they'll get a steal there. They'll bring it out. Ethan yeah. Niemeyer brings it up the floor. Had a great decision by Borger, just Borger really going into a mess that time. Nice cut by Miller as he gets the ball, and he nails it in. Nice job by Sam Miller as he cuts from the free throw line, gets rewarded with the pass, and he scores to make it 46-28. Skins will swing it over to Maurer on the right side as he dribble drives. Three ball from the left side on the way, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Yellow Springs. That was number 21 for the Skins, Alex Borger, as he misses the three. For 13 to go, Fort Army leads 46-28 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. Caleb Maurer out top guarding Sam Miller. As Miller picks the ball up, nowhere to go, and he goes back to Ethan Niemeyer. And he stepped on the sideline, I believe. He steps out of bounds, and he'll go back to Fort Lormy. And he keeps going deep on that bench. Coach getting a lot of guys in. I think they've been 10 deep now. Darren Eilerman checks back in. Darren Eilerman, the 6'1 senior. Checks in for Alex Berger. I really like the depth of this squad and the makeup and how hard they play defensively. They take their time on offense, and I love their bigs. I think their bigs run the floor really well. This is Maurer from the right side, and he just continues to knock it in from deep. He's got 22 to lead all scores, and it's 49-28 on the Reese Mearing scoreboard. He's a sniper. He's one of the better shooters I've seen this year. And, you know, above his average, maybe having a little bit of a, a better day than typical, but uh, he can definitely stroke that three ball. And there he is hustling on the defensive end. Gets a near steal. Nice back cut by Niemeyer. The ball goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Yellow Spring. So you saw Ethan Niemeyer cut from the high post down to the low post. They reward him with the ball, but it goes out of bounds. Yeah, good help defense. Kaiser saw that as well, got over from the weak side, was able to knock it away. Ethan Kaiser. This is Miller guarded by Maurer. Miller throws it up, finds nothing, and it goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Fort Lormie. So great defense there by Caleb Maurer as Sam Miller tries to Knock in the little jumper. He heard his coach scream, don't let him push you around. No. <laughs> no it's Mil I don't know about Miller. that. <laughs> Miller doesn't, he's not on the on the strong side of the no, weight he's scale. Not. He's gonna get pushed yeah. around a little. Yes, he is. Go back to Caleb Maurer. I thought he was gonna shoot that one from long distance. And a nice cut there by Darren Eilerman. Ball goes off the mark. Yeah, they like to go, springs. sorry, they like to go set that wing screen and then slip it to the hole. It's been an effective play out of their offense. This is Miller with the ball up top. He'll swing it over. Josh Clark. 
goes off of Josh Clark. It'll go out of bounds, go back to Fort Laramie. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think two players close together, not sure who was going to get that pass. And one player, one Yellow Springs player knocked it off another. Ryan Holscher checks back in the game. The 6'3 senior averages seven a game. He'll come back in the game. This is Wireman up top. We're back to Holscher on the left side. Swing a skip pass across the floor. Almost lose it out of bounds. Bring it back up top and reset it with Aiden Wehrman. Fort Laramie being very patient on offense as they lead 49-28. Continuing to run against that man set. Yellow Springs and Floors. They'll go back in the middle, swing it back out. Thought about the three ball. They'll go back to the middle of the floor. Off the mark. That was... Excuse me, Darren Eilerman with the missed shot there as he cuts to the basket, misses that shot. Here comes Yellow Springs down 49-28. This is Sam Miller from the left side. He's off the mark and will be rebounded by Fort Lormy. One twenty-eight to go. Lormy leads 49-28. Three ball from the left side. That's going to go off the mark. That was put up by Aiden Werman. He misses off the left rim. Here comes Miller with the dribble drive, and they're going to say it's a blocking foul. And they're going to get number 33, Aiden Werman, the senior, on the blocking foul. Not, probably not great shot selection that time by Werman. Not really coming out of the flow of the offense. Not going to get any offensive rebound opportunities on that. Yellow Springs got a clean rebound and some transition the other way. Miller goes to the free throw line. He knocks in the first one. He's got nine on the afternoon, noon, excuse me, to lead the Bulldogs. And Fort Laramie got that lead to 20 in there in the second period, and it's kind of hung right around there for most of this third period. 13 to go. Miller with his second shot. He knocks that one in. He's in double digits. He's got 11 on the afternoon. 108 to play. This is Caleb Maurer. He leads all scores with 22 on the afternoon. He'll swing it over to Kaiser. Kaiser gets a screen. He's going to take a three from the top of the key, and he knocks it in. Ethan Kaiser. He's got oh, 12, excuse me, on the night. Yeah, I think 12 oh, on, yeah. on four, four triples. I was going to say, he's, everything's been behind the arc, hasn't it? And that one wasn't the corner. That was just off the, <laughs> off the top of the key. Kind of switched it up on us here. Sam Miller swings it over to Josh Clark. He holds the ball, looks for an open man. Get it inside to J.P. Anderson. This is Anderson from the right side. He's going to be fouled out, to, out on the right side by Carter Gasson. Yeah, young sophomore Gasson. He's uh, got in the second period. He got a couple of fouls, gets his third. J.P. Anderson. J.P. Anderson goes to the line with 27 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Normally leads 52-30. He knocks the first one down. Misses the second one. Anderson's got three on the afternoon. Here comes Caleb Mowers. He goes down the middle of the floor, swings it out. This is Ryan Holscher. He knocks down the triple. Ryan Holscher. Yeah, what, a, what a nice pass that time from Caleb Mauer. Could have maybe... Got in the lane, tried to get all the way to the hole, but saw his teammate all alone on the wing. Nice find, and Lormy continues to shoot well from distance. Here's Miller with the ball as he goes to the middle of the floor, foul line. Shot goes up, and it goes out of bounds, and it'll go back to Lormy with 1.9 seconds to go. Again, Miller, he has 11 points. He's, he's scored the ball on occasions, but when Lormy's able to get physical with him, put, put some bumps on him, he has a hard time finishing. Here's Maurer from half court, and that's going to go off the mark. So after three quarters from Fort Lormy High School, the homestanding Redskins lead 55-31. You're watching high school basketball on WSN. We're back here at Fort Laramie High School. We're after three quarters of play. The Fort Laramie Redskins lead 55-31 over the Yellow Springs Bulldogs. And Tom, Coach Corey Britton and the Redskins have pretty much done what they wanted to do today, offensively and defensively. Yeah, again, the big thing I think was creating turnovers early and then have shot the ball very well from the perimeter and pretty much in control. I think in a perfect world, Coach Britton would like to 
you know, play the starters maybe a couple, three more minutes, extend this lead a little, and then get some young guys in. Yeah, we think alike, because that was my next question to you. How long do you keep those starters in here? And I, I think you're right. He'll go another three or four minutes and then get the bench in there. So miss on the left side by the Redskins. Bulldogs bring it down, trying to close that gap. A near steal by Caleb Maurer from Niemeyer. Three ball on the way, and it's good. Josh Niemeyer. Excuse me, Josh. Excuse me, Jason Niemeyer. We've got uh, Ethan Niemeyer and Jason Niemeyer. Gives him 11. He shares scoring honors with uh, Miller for yes, the he does. Bulldogs. There's the Redskins as they go back inside. Trying to get Logan Eilerman's position. There's Caleb Maurer. I think that's maybe the first miss he's had yeah. all night. Tom. Well, he had to reach down <laughs> on the ground almost to get the pass. And when you do that, it really throws off your rhythm, throws off your footwork, and mm, tough to make shots in those situations. Mauro inbounds the ball underneath their basket. The passer, of course, Eilerman was about to lose the ball, so he was just getting it out any way he could. But, you know, it's... So important, not just pass to the person, but pass in the right spot where they can catch in rhythm and get a quality shot up. And there you see Austin Plyman gets position on Sean Van Hoos as he got really low position in the middle of the floor. And Plyman will go to the line to shoot too. Knocks in the first one. Yeah, if you're a defender, you know, Plyman, if you make him catch out on the floor, he's probably not going to hurt you that much, but you let him get that body on you and get that great low yeah, post you're, position, you're, yeah. you're you're pretty much done at that point. It's uh, give up a layup or commit a foul. So Plyman knocks in two. He's got nine on the afternoon. Mormon leads 57-34 with seven minutes to go here in the game. Josh Clark with the ball as he gets it out to J.P. Anderson. Anderson goes back to Clark. Back to Anderson. You know, Ethan Kaiser went down kind of awkwardly on, that, on this possession defensively and seems to be favoring that ankle a little bit. They'll go inside to Van Hoos. Van Hoos guarded by Plyman. Van Hoos pounding the ball. Tries to go a little baby half hook, and they're going to say Plyman got him on the arm. And he was trying to get to that right shoulder. No interest in trying to turn to the left, and no. Plyman was making it difficult, but he able to power through and draw the contact, get himself to the line, see if Sean Van Hoos can get in the scoring column. First shot up to Van Hoos as he rims that one out. And Kaiser will sit down with a little bit of a limp. Probably get it checked out. Score stays as it is. His day may be done. I think you're absolutely right. Sean Van Hoos, the 6'7 seniors, remains scoreless this game as he's played quite a bit. As he tries to get in the scoring column here with a second shot on the way up. And he does exactly that. So Sean Van Hoos has got one for the afternoon. And it's 57-35 on the re-smearing scoreboard. Here come the Skins as they try to push the ball back down to Plyman. They'll get it to Plyman out top. This is Maurer, gets it back down to Plyman. Plyman cutting to the rim. He'll swing it out to Maurer on the left side. Maurer, a little dribble drive, foul on extended. He knocks it down. That's a really nice skill set, Coach, when you can do that. <laughs> yeah, again, the pass wasn't great to take the three, so passed it up, two dribbles. Good balance on that and, and gets elevation. And we talked about his leaping ability. He gets up in the air in that jumper. Just a smooth offensive basketball player, Caleb Maurer. There's a dribble drive by number 11, Jason Niemeyer. As the ball's blocked, here comes Caleb Maurer. He gets it down the floor. Ball goes out of bounds. The intended target was number 23. That's Ryan Holscher. Yeah, good look that time. Maybe a little too much air into the pass. <laughs> you're right. Miller did a good job of getting back, getting a hand on it, knocking it away. Returning for the Bulldogs, number 10, Josh Clark. Josh Clark comes into the game for Yellow Springs. He's got three on the afternoon. We'll go back out to Caleb Maurer. Gets a screen from Plyman and a nice backdoor cut. <laughs> <laughs> you saw the same thing yeah, I did, Coach. Good look from, from Caleb Maurer, and I think Mr. Holscher was maybe thinking about finishing before he <laughs> made the catch. Passed just a little bit behind him, but one that he'll tell you he should have caught and laid in. Ryan Holscher, nice backdoor cut. He just lets the ball go off his fingertips. Chastain guarded by Maurer up top. They'll swing it over to Niemeyer. Great job there by 
Max Maurer as he was all over Chastain. Yeah, that's a clinic on moving your feet, doing a great job laterally. There's the steal, Caleb Maurer, who's gonna go up the right side. Oh, tries to hammer it home. And that's not going to, co oh, Coach Britton is not happy about that. <laughs> <laughs> he, earlier when he had the, the semi breakaway, he, he went off two feet to try to get the dunk and laid it over the rim, didn't quite get the elevation needed. That time, tried the one hand hammer and. Uh, and the, the look on Coach Britton's face yeah. right now, and he had a few words for the young man. <laughs> I, I don't think he's really upset, but no. uh, not happy. <laughs> well, he is wearing a left ankle brace. I think the last thing he wants to see is uh, see that's right. Yeah, his 17-point yeah, yeah. game guy laying on the floor. <laughs> so I think that'll probably do it for uh, Kayla Maurer as he goes to the bench with 4.30 to go here in the fourth quarter. Here come the Skins with another steal. This is Max Maurer, goes back in. Oh, and a missed shot there by Ryan Holscher as he had the left side all to himself, but he just misses the shot. And a really nice pass and just not completing it, and we're going to get a blocking call on the other end on the Redskins. Antonio Chayton with the ball, and he went inside and got blocked. And Eilerman with the foul. That'll put Chayton at the line. And credit Yellow Springs again, you know, getting down 20. They could have came out the second half. And and kind of folded things up, but uh, they've continued to play hard. They've continued to battle, and really for most of the second half, playing them pretty even on the scoreboard. Shane knocks down the first one. He's got seven on the afternoon. Makes it 59-36 on the resmearing scoreboard. Looks like we got another foul. So we're gonna go the other way, Yellow Springs, foul. just their third, so it'll be common foul, and Redskins will have to inbound and go the length of the floor. In the game now for the Redskins is number 52, Carter Plyman. He's six seven. He's the biggest man on their roster, so the senior getting some time on the floor, so see if we don't see him get the ball in the low post. He comes out and sets a screen and rolls to the bucket, and they look for him. Three ball from the right side, off the mark. Wyman gets the rebound, ball stripped away, and it's going to go out of bounds. More subs as Coach Britton continues to go deep. I was just getting uh, associated with the starters here, Coach, and now i got to learn all yeah. these other names. And <laughs> exactly. Noah Manier, 6'3", junior in, and, and number 45, we saw Carter Gasson. We've seen him quite a bit yes, earlier. We have. Yes, we have. So four long, they continue running their offense. Three ball from the corner pocket, off the mark. Rebound comes down to Yellow Springs, and they're going to get number 40, Noah Manier, Manier, excuse me, on the foul. Foul on number 40, Noah Manier. It's a 16 foul on more. I mean, I don't believe we've had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity in this game yet, if I'm not I mistaken. You are correct, Coach. So 3.45 to go. Lormy leads 59-36. Second annual MLK Classic from Fort Laramie High School. Had some great games today, great individual accomplishments. And we were talking earlier, they're giving an MVP after each game uh, to uh, an individual on the winning team. And right now, I'd say Caleb Maurer is uh, no, in, can in, in, in uh, the running for that. I think that's a pretty good guess. Pretty safe bet. And he'll get the, probably the loudest cheer of the afternoon, being on his home court. Nice crowd here for Fort Laramie. 2.59 to go. Lorna leads 59-36 on the Reese Mary scoreboard. J.P. Anderson tries to go in a little dribble drive there, and it goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Yellow Springs. Lucky to get that ball back. J.P. Anderson got himself way behind the backboard, really in a position where he couldn't get a quality shot off. So Fort Lorna will go to 10-3 on the season. There's a three ball from the left side and a nice looking shot there by Josh Clark from the left side as he knocks in the triple to make it 59-39 with 2.44 to go. He tried to push the ball into Plyman. As the ball hits him off the feet. This is Chayton with the three ball and back-to-back -back threes. Yeah, they, I mean... 
a lot of the things they've struggled with, handling the ball being number one, but they have shot the three very well and a lot of different guys. Yes, they have. They average 42 on the season, so they're right there right now. Number 21 with the ball out there, Alex Borger. I thought he should have shot that. Nobody came out to defend it. This is Max Maurer from the left side. Rims out. Rebound comes down to Yellow Springs with 140 to go. And Yellow Springs will take a timeout. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. You're watching High School Basketball, WOSN. One thirty-seven to go here from Fort Laramie High School as Laramie continues to lead Yellow Springs 59-42. And coach, the next game, we've got Marion Local coming in. And you look over here and there's a sea of blue. And I can promise you they're going to bring a big crowd to this one. They will. And uh, <laughs> have an excellent year themselves. Coach Gutmiller, as they typically do. And talk some size. Jack Knapke, big 6'9 junior, comes with a lot of, you know, quite a bit of hype. So looking forward to watching him and the Flyers play. Absolutely. Nice little dribble drive and a follow-up by number 52, Carson Plyman. The 6'7 senior hustles down the floor, gets the rebound, and sticks it back in. Yeah, that's great. I like to see that. Don't assume your teammate's going to make that layup. Hustle, get yourself in position in case he doesn't. It's exactly what Carter Plyman did, got the finish. Yellow Springs, we are at... Dribble drive and the block by Plyman again. Chayton gets the rebound, brings it back up. And they're going to say a foul. They're going to get. Let's see who they call the foul on here. I think somebody from Fort Long. Number 40. His second. Noah Manier, 6'3 junior. JP one one, Anderson. Anderson will go to the line. He's got three on the afternoon. Misses that one. Almost got his own rebound. And Chayton gets the steal. Goes back to Anderson, loses the ball, and he'll go up on the right side. Misses that shot, rebound comes down, and it'll go back to for Lormy with 45 seconds to go. So a good day for the homestanding Redskins as they'll, again, move to 10 and three on the year. They'll win this one convincingly over Yellow Springs. There's a three ball from the left side. That goes off the back iron. Rebound comes down to number 35, Otto Cipollini, the 6'9 junior. We get to see him in the game now. Anderson tries to move down the baseline, goes out of bounds, and go back to Yellow Springs. I lost his balance a little bit, but fortunate. Long me last to touch. 12 seconds left, maybe a chance for a couple more points for the Bulldogs. Three ball from the left side and a nice little four three. Jumper. Josh Clark <laughs> knocks down the triple. He's got nine on the afternoon and that'll do it, coach. From Fort Laramie High School, the Laramie Redskins defeat the Yellow Springs Bulldogs 61-45. Coach, your impressions on Caleb Maurer and the big game he put up for the Skins today? Yeah, he's an excellent player. As I said, very smooth. Offensive player showed a little bit off the dribble, certainly showed the three-point shooting ability and pass as well. Set his, sets his teammates up well. And, uh, you know, Lormy's got some good pieces around him. They've got a solid team. They're, they're well connected and play hard defensively. And, you know, if Caleb Maurer can do some big things offensively, they got a chance to make some noise rest of the season and into the postseason. So that'll do it from Fort Laramie High School as the Laramie Redskins defeat the Yellow Springs Bulldogs 61-45 for Tom Von Sausen. I'm Danny Holbrook and our entire WSN crew. We'll see you next time.